Hello, it's Miranda from Custom Crops. And Natalie. Today we are going to go over our make and take that we did at CHA. So you might have already done it with us, who knows, but if you haven't, then we're going to go over it with you today. CHA was about three weeks ago in Orlando, mm -hmm. and so this was the hit of the show. Big well, time. basically in our eyes. Yeah. But, um, we're going to be using um, Perfect Pearls today. We've cut our grunge board in our Cricut um, for the underlays. We'll be showing you that. And um, we're just basically going to take our kits out and start making our pins. So stay tuned. So if you did see us at CHA, but you weren't able to get a spot at our table, you might have gotten one of these little kits. And we're also going to have these at... Um, um, we're doing uh, the Scrapbook Expo in St. Charles, Illinois at Pheasant Run um, the weekend of August 21st and 22nd. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this video after that, we've already gone there um, and done that. But you can certainly do this at home buying the things that we sell on our website. Yep. And so inside the bag, um, everybody got one of these, and the one of the most exciting things at CHA was this little piece of metal. Yes. And this is from Ten Seconds Studio. Comes in all kinds of different cool colors, and we are going to emboss it in the cuddle bug. So Miranda's going to grab her folder first. What one are you using, Miranda? Argyle. Argyle. And you just want to make sure that your color is facing up, right where you see the words cuddle bug on your folder. And just put it inside in between. And then you're going to put it in between your two B plates with your A. And run it through. I will be using the Paisley folder. Um, this was one of the more popular ones at the CHA Super Show in Orlando, so that's why I picked this one. Same thing, uh, metal side, the painted side up, close the folder, and then it goes between the two B plates. And Miranda will show you what hers looks like. Ta-da! And once I sand it, this is really gonna pop out. But it's amazing how well that these metals emboss. You can run yours through Natalie and I'll okay. sand mine. Nice. I love it. Was this chocolate? This is yeah, that dark chocolate. Okay. We have all kinds of colors. There's Dijon, there's Rockstar Black, there's Kiss Me Pink, Apple Teeny. Yeah, the Apple Teeny was very popular. Um, there's a new color called Slate that's kind of a gray. Just gorgeous. Oh, I guess I can see in mine. Um, once you have your design sanded, then all of our kits come with a piece of grunge paper that we've already cut on the Cricut machine. And the grunge paper is from one of our favorite people. Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz, we love him. Yes. So it has been pre-scored on the back for you. And if you got this kit, if not, you can just trace around it. And we're just going to fold these model edges up. You just want to press down. You do, do not run your finger across this metal because you can get cut by it. I was very happy to say that after the hundreds of people we went through, we never had anybody cut We didn't cut have themselves. anybody cut themselves. I, I'm the only one that can accomplish that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got our base for our pin done. And we're ready to move on to our next step. So I'm going to just fold this up and get this out of the way. We love our cuddle bug. Okay, so um, I have my butterfly grunge paper piece and Miranda has her owl. This came from the Indie Art cartridge. And Miranda, do you remember where yours came from? No. Miranda doesn't remember. Happily Ever After cartridge. After cutting about 1,300 of those or 650 or whatever, I remember where that came from. <laughs> and just to mention again, this was the grunge paper and all of these shapes were cut with the Cricut. With the Cricut, yep. yep. The deep cut, deep cut blade, maximum pressure. Um, I think we did like a multi-cut of three, blade depth six, so all that good stuff. So another hit at the CHA show for us. Glimmer Tattered Mist. Angels. Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Um, we are one of the only retailers that carries this. Um, some places have started carrying it, but don't let them fool you. 
they don't carry all the colors we carry. <laughs> um, so there are about 36. Yes, and well, more to come. Yeah, more to come. They actually um, have a group of um, Halloween, Halloween fall colors, inspired, fall inspired colors. So I'll be using sea glass. And I'll be using mustard seed. Mustard seed. And yeah. you want to just make sure that you get it all good and shaken up because the bottom has like this pearl that will sit at the bottom. It settles down there and you have to get it all good and mixed up so that your color shows up really well. And when we were at CHA, we noticed that many of the people were hesitant to shake it. They were spraying it a certain way. Well, we didn't know this, but they had been to the Tattered Angels booth. And the Tattered Angels people are giving specific instructions on how to spray it. But in this case, where we're spraying, we're not doing a layout. We want heavy saturation. This is the way we do it. So there's not necessarily a, a wrong, wrong way. way. Yeah. So I'm going to spray mine. Are you going to spray yours? Yes. Okay. And this is the part where we say, we, don't worry about don't making worry, a mess. Don't worry. You're going to make a mess. So you want to make sure you're working on a surface mm -hmm. that is protected. And when you're doing this at home, we were a little hesitant to do this at the show, but you can certainly um, do layer upon layer. But at the show, we were trying to get everybody to experience it. Mm -hmm. So we were trying to push people through, but. Right after here. 